welcome back to my channel today. I have a delivery for you. For me, actually. But I've got a delivery that I thought I'd share with you. It is um, some new Lush products um, that I've been trying out. I'm so excited um, because Lush is my favorite, one of my favorite stores in the world. Um, I'm very much a pamper, like to do things that like pamper myself. And so these are always one of the first things I buy for myself. So let's jump into the video. So the first product is the new scrubby, um, sort of like a butter, body butter, but you use it in the shower. Look at it, it's in the shape of a bee. It is so cute. It smells so nice. Now I'm really bad with scent, so just I've got the website up to tell you exactly what it smells like. Um, but you actually use this in the shower, so sort of once you've like washed yourself you will go ahead and sort of scrub this in it's got a little bit of an exfoliant in it but not heavy um so you just lather that up and then rinse it off and then when you get out of the shower you'll notice like your skin is kind of a little bit waxy feeling i did sort of um i didn't like it the first time i used it just because i was like oh it's so waxy but as soon as you like dry yourself with a towel it's so good it's literally like replaced my moisturizer so sort of like instead of moisturizing after the shower sort of like an all-in-one step so you use this towel and then your skin is so soft so it sounds like, I'm gonna say there's honey in it for sure um so it's got cocoa butter in it shea butter ground coconut honey there you go um it's like literally melting in my hands um but yeah you've got the little bars of exfoliant in there so yeah that is the scrubby so i've been enjoying using that next so that's a new product i actually haven't tried it before um another pr new product that i got of theirs is their elbow grease which i got because my grandma is always like you need to moisturize your elbows because mine are so dark and dry um, so I've been using this all week because I couldn't wait. I literally couldn't wait for this video to show you. Um, so it's different consistency than I thought. I thought it would be like more of a cream, but it's sort of like a, um, like a butter. And you just, um, yeah, rub it on. It smells really, really good. It's kind of like citrusy. So it's kind of, I thought it wouldn't have really much of a smell, but it's really nice. And I've been noticing a huge difference. It's a really good like shape. I can I haven't been taking it to work or anything, but I've been doing it morning and night for about a week. And I've noticed, yeah, they're a lot smoother. So the smell, the scent, let's have a look at what it says. But I'm gonna say it's quite citrusy. Um, Lang Lang Rose Water Orange Flower. So it smells really, really good. It's got great reviews. It is a new product of theirs. Um, so I was very excited to try it and I'm loving it so far. I think it will become one of my favorites. So, so it's a little tub. Again, it, this quite smells quite strong of orange, which usually isn't my favorite, but I'm actually not minding it, especially when it's like through my hair. So it's the R&B Hair Moisturizer. Um, so here it says how to use on afro or very curly hair types get a little bit on your fingertips and work through dry hair on straight hair um, dry your hair work a little through after conditioning but before drying it um, so I have curly hair so I have used it both ways I've used it sort of while my hair's wet and then dried it and I have used it um, just in the ends just to sort of make it nice and curly sort of just tames the curls a little bit extremely rich blend of oils and butters to restore your hair to its natural beauty um we've added ingredients that work on calming the scalp not only does this hydrate your hair but it will leave it softly perfumed with bay and orange flower that it's definitely orange so it's got like oat milk in it avocado butter um coconut oil jasmine orange flower 
mask of Magna Minty and it is a face and body mask. Okay, so it is obviously Magna Minty, so it is peppermint scented. Um, so it's cooling and invigorating on the skin and um, it cleanses and absorbs, so it's, it's definitely textured. It's a textured mask. Um, what else have we got here? Primrose seeds, peppermint oil, vanilla absolute. Apply a generous layer over the face, avoiding the eyes. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes and then gently scrub off with warm water. This can be used on both the body and the face. This is true. I use it, yeah, over my body and my face. And I like the peppermint smell. I never used to be a huge fan of peppermint, but I'm really liking it. And I like the cooling effect on your face. And it kind of always leaves my skin, like, really glowy looking. So, it's definitely for, like, a cleansing, um, yeah, deep cleansing glowy type of mask so that one is one of my favorites so i am just repurchasing that one so on the top of my lush box oh my god my bee is stuck can you see my bee guys look it's like stuck so each box is got a little sticker saying packed with love by and so this was packed by alicia thank you alicia okay now i have two bath bombs because you know they're my favorite 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 lush products um, I do have one that I, is one of my top favorites and then one that is new and I have never used before. So let's go into my, one of my favorites. So if you haven't seen it before, they are huge. It is the Twilight Bath Bomb. Um, so it's pink. It's got lots of little stars and moons encrusted, encrusted? What's a word? Um, Grey. Yeah, it's got lots of little embossed. stars and moves embossed on the top. Um, oh, it smells so good. So this is definitely a nighttime, I would say a nighttime bath bomb. It's very calming. It definitely has lavender in it. It's very subtle smelling. So I really, really do like, it is one of my top one. It foams a lot and it's got a bit of blue inside. So your bath turns like blue and aqua. Oh my God. Aqua and pink. Um, so it's really nice. So if sleep is evading you, this combination of essential oils will get you ready for a good night's rest. Um, so it's really, really good. I love this one. I get it basically every time I go to Lush, um, cause they are so good. So it's a perfect one for winding down at night. Um, so I'm excited to add that back into my stash. I'm also planning to do a video on how to save some money at Lush. Because lunch can be quite expensive, but I have some great tips for you to get the most out of your money. So, if you're interested in seeing that video, comment down below. Also, oh my god, so this is the new bath bomb, and I was obsessed with that. I've seen it online, I've seen it on YouTube reviews, um, but I'm loving the detail in it. It's very cute. So, it's actually got a shimmer in it as well, I'm gonna say. So it's definitely like it's a grey colour, it's got sort of like a beehive type look to it and um, so I couldn't smell this online so but I had to get it, it was a new product whenever they come out with a new product I have to try it. Um, wow, okay. This kind of to me smells like a man's bath bomb. It's definitely not sweet, it's sort of peppery sort of like cologne kind of smells like a man's perfume let me read up what it officially has in it oh black pepper oil cinnamon so warming and clarifying black pepper oil warming spicy and stimulating cinnamon leaf it smells quite nice I'd be interested it's definitely fine it really smells like a man's one to me um, so I have seen on the reviews that it is full of color inside so when you pop it in it explodes with color um, which is very cool because it's such a dark, dark bath bomb and I think the water would look amazing so I, I'm actually going to try this for myself if James doesn't want to try it um, and there's a mixed reviews online so I'd love to try it for myself and I'll let you guys know what I think and that is all I got off Lush this time comment down below your favorite Lush product um, and if you'd be interested in seeing a tips on how to save money or get the best for your money at Lush. Thanks guys. Bye. Oops, it wasn't recording.
Are you joking? Are you joking? <laughs>